Lord, my Father. I welcome you to this Eucharistic celebration. May we remind ourselves of our intentions, asking God for his love and favor in our lives. In a special way, we pray for the intentions of Mara Mantolo, March 1, Paul Nier, Peter Long Nier, Mary B. Drew, Theodore Jacqueline and Peter. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And my brothers and sisters, to be worthy to celebrate this Eucharist, let us pray. Lord, Lord, my brothers and sisters, to be worthy to celebrate this Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins, asking God forgiveness and mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life of us. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by good grace, those sinners, we are made just. And though pity ever made blessed, stand, we pray, by your work. Stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, who is and reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the Apostles and the Presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days God made his choice among you, that through my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the Gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus, in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent, and they listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophet agree with this, as is written. After this I shall return and rebuild the fallen heart of David. From its ruins I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord who accomplishes these things, known from a holy. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town, and he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. 
Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you land. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations. Among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is King. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the people with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. O Lord. <coughs> Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my father's commandment and remain in his law. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you. the completeness of the joy. We have joy every day, but it will not be complete unless we bring Jesus into our joy. And sometimes in confusion or distorted joy, we think taking Jesus out is a better solution. But I can assure you it is not. Sometimes you want to drink so much, or you want to watch the video so much, or you want to eat so much, or dance so much, or hike so much. These things are good, but we need Christ and this happiness to make it last. In the first reading, why? Do we have problem with the Gentiles? Because we lack the joy of Christ. They want to introduce the law of Moses to change their lives. But what you look, I think he said, hatred brings darkness to light. Love brings light to light. Hatred brings confusion. Light. Love clears the way. So, if you are happy, if you are joyful, and it is anchored on a material thing, that if it is a house, if you get old, and there is time for renovation, and you need to spend more money, and you start quarreling with the workers. If you have good drink, you take it and you feel dizzy and happy after 12 hours and the reality is before you. So I say to you, invite Christ into your happiness. I am happy, but God, what do I need to do? These apostles, they were happy they received Christ and they want to share with the rest of the Gentiles and some group of people say, no, 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 they are not qualified. And from yesterday, from since Monday or so, you look at what they were discussing. God has given them this happiness. They have received Christ. But they don't want to share it with one another. 
and there is a problem. In the same way, when you receive this gift of life, whatever God has given you, for the joy to be complete, you must share wife, son, daughters, friends, co-workers. People must share with you the gift God has given you so that it will be complete. If you keep it to yourself, anyway, nobody knows that. And if you not work, all gift we receive from God is a gift of service. Money, time, strength, knowledge, all these gifts, God is saying, use it for me so that the joy will be complete. Your joy and the joy of the person receiving the gift. Do not marginalize, do not ostracize, do not deprive, do not cast away. Bring people together in joy and happiness so that the joy will be complete. Please stand. As we continue to pray for the intentions of Laura McDonald, Nash Warner, Paul Nguyen, Peter Long Nguyen, Mary Bidhu, Theodore Hidden and Jacob. We also remember all those who requested our prayers, especially our parishioners, our families and friends, our co-workers. May God in his mercy and love continue to answer them, continue to help them, and continue to lift them up so that they can see that God is love and they have received this love from God and they will be happy in the power of creation. We also pray for those who are here to us and pray. May God give them quick recovery, time of mind and body. And we who have gathered here this morning, may the power of the risen Lord, the power of resurrection, the power of past mystery come into our lives so that we will share the gift we receive from God and put those gifts into use. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please receive. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness you have received the bread. We offer you fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. You will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and the work of human hands, it will become for us the spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted with God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the glorious Holy Church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange perfected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one spring of prayer, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. You lift lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and God. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and at all times I claim you for Lord. But in this time we both all to last you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, 
Oh God, come with pastoral door. Every line and every people exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic truth sing together as the pending theme of your glory as they are clear. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, O your Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the new folk, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this out, you are bit of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this to we are drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the Lord and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of the Savior of the world, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have held us worthy in your presence and minister to you. Come to me, pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis and Pope, Oscar, Bishop, and all the place. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the top of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy and lost all who pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the same as God, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who are pleased with proud the age, we may marry to the glorious and eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the age of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Rev and Amen. Amen. And the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching with us to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, in prayer from every evil. Gracious, grant peace in our day, by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and saved from all these goods, as we await the blessed to the Father, our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, and the Lord, and the Lord is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, and you do not my sins for the gift of your church. And graciously grant that peace and will in our friends with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the
shall cry out of the Lord.
Christ died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord. And let those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to the rest of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Our Almighty God continue to bless your Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve. Thanks be to God. Have a very nice day. Thank you, Father. Thank you.